You know, <clears throat> I'm at a I'm at a crossroads right now because I'm getting really deep in my thought process and everything. You know, I don't you know, I can't say that I hate Matt Covington or I hate arrogant douchebag fucking cocksucker media <laughs> because these guys are giving me exactly what I want and it's priceless it's priceless especially when I was with uh, Matt Covington the ungrateful cocksucker that he is but I keep thinking you see what I need to explain is, okay, I'm at a crossroads right now, but Matt, see, he goes, well, Joe, you're talented, and you got charisma, and you're a star. I mean, he even said I was better than him, which I didn't think he would tell me that. But the most important thing that struck me was, you could be whatever you want to be, the Crazy Joe Show, but drop the bigotry. Now, if I was a bigot, that would make total sense. The fact is, you morons out there, because of people like Billy Painter poisoning your brains, because he's a total fucking asshole, and I will never... Be friends with Billy Painter. I hate his guts and I wish he would fucking, you know, fall down a fucking uh, big, big fucking hole and it would suck him in to the gates of hell. I don't know. That's kind of over the top, don't you think? Well, maybe he could fall down a shaft or something, you know, break his fucking back. And I don't even know if that's good. That might be a little too drastic. Um, But... You see, you kids, especially Matt Covington and Dirt Dickwad and, you know, all these people and Charlie Richardson. And all, I don't want to be friends with none of you guys, but I want you to understand that you are 100% fucking wrong because you don't understand New York City culture. You don't understand that New York City is one of the greatest experiments of all time and it works. People hate each other and they still fucking live in the same neighborhood. You can't do that in Twin City, Idaho. You can't do that in Knockville, Tennessee, or Cherry Hill, Tennessee, or Kakaluka County, Mississippi. You cannot do that. What we do in New York is so fucking unique. Getting along with people even though we can't stand them. Now, bigot, Matt Covington is 100% wrong. Because I like everybody. But because I don't like... Chocolato nigs calling each other nigs. It's okay for them to use it in, in their rap music. It's okay for them to call each other nigs. Yo, my nig, what's up? Right? So it's okay for them to bastardize the word. But if a white guy says it, it's not good. That's the double standard. And that's what I'm all about. The double standard. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And... The only thing, and Matt knows this, you know, he, he plays dumb because he's a manipulating cocksucker. But Matt knows this because I think he brought it up once. That, I'm sorry, I got a senior moment. Hmm. All I can tell you is I'm not racist and I'm not a bigot. I... Tell it like it is, and if people don't like it, especially the liberal douchebag media and the people like Matt and the people like uh, Dirk Dickwad and all these fucking jerk-off losers that I've been dealing with, then they just want to control free speech. This is what this is all about. This is not about Crazy Joe and how much we hate Crazy Joe and shit. These are kids. I'm old enough to be their father. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And, you know, like I said, I don't like this politically correct climate we're living in. I don't like the woke movement, woke movement, 
I should say. I don't like fucking rap crap. I don't like the way the rappers are, are, um, they're actually doing a lot of harm to their own race, making, you know, like, the white people hate them, because, I mean, it goes back to like the 80s, when the rapper video started approaching on MTV, you didn't know who was in the fucking band, because there was no band, and it's all this stupid gyrating fucking, I mean, it's the most stupidest mentally retarded form. And it doesn't require much musicianship, only the knowledge that you know how to make beats, and everybody wants to be a DJ, DJ Granny, DJ Senior, DJ that. It's ridiculous. It is an insult to my culture, and it's an insult to the real patriots who love rock and roll music, Harley Davidsons and biker gangs and tough guys because we're probably the same guys that kicked your fucking ass and took your fucking lunch money. We're the rockers, baby. And we're taking a big hit right now, but it's people like me that are going to keep that culture alive. And I don't have to call anybody a fucking nig lover, but when you antagonize me, you call into my show... You harass me. You get other people to harass me. You're all like a little gang, like the Onions were. And you want to be organized and block your numbers and all that stuff. Well, you know what? Nobody can blame me for my reaction. And he had his little fucking uh, monkey boyfriend there threaten me with physical harm. I'm talking about Billy Cocksucker Painter. Look, I, this guy doesn't understand. He's not going to get me off the air. He can try. He might succeed here and there. But the bottom line is, I will always exist. Whether you know my name or you don't know my name, I will exist. And you can only tell people, you think a little recording is going to hurt me? Absolutely not. If these people are true to their word. And if these people know that I'm being harassed and stalked by a fucking white trash cocksucker, Cockalooka County dickwad, like Billy Cocksucker Painter, then they will use their minds and they will say, this guy's a fucking asshole. He's giving this guy a hard time because whatever. And that's it. 365 should have done that. See, I blame 365 then I really blame Billy Painter, believe it or not, as much as I hate that motherfucker's guts. Or I have a problem with Matt, or I have a problem with Dirk Dickwad and all these other fucking jerk-offs. I hate 365 more. And I realize that they fucked me. And they should be sued. Of course, they refunded my money, but they should be sued because it's the internet. The internet is not regulated by the FCC. It's a free-form style. Why do you think all the white supremacists exist on the internet? And the Ku Klux Klan and the Nazis and all that? Because of the internet. Now, that's not a racist statement. That is an actual fact. Especially in the last 30 years. Since the, what, the internet first came on the scene 30, 35 years ago? And it was a breeding ground for these type of people. I am not that kind of people. But I, I hate, and Matt knows it, Better than anybody. And he said it once on the air. Joe, or it gave me a text, you don't like the rappers because they took your rock and roll away from you. Okay? And we got jerk-offs in the rock and roll hall of shame that shouldn't be there. So my shit is more about politics, but you got people like Billy Painter who like to turn it around. Okay? And uh, because I'm not anti-Semitic, I played with a guy for 25 years and he was a Jew bastard. <laughs> and he was my best friend. Now he's not my friend. I hate his guts because he had bipolar. But I've been, I've been partners with Jews, Italians. Even now, I associate with, uh, with black people. So I don't give a flying fuck what Billy has to say. And I don't give a flying fuck what you have to say. Okay? 
you're not going to put me in that politically correct bullshit of yours. Because to me, you're sequestering my free speech and my own life. I live my life my way, and you little punk pussy cocksuckers can live your life your way. But I'll tell you this. As I said in the beginning of this video, I'm at the crossroads. I'm going to do a show no matter what. No matter what the consequences are. And guess what, Billy? They're going to let me on and they're not going to pay any attention to you because they're going to know what a fucking asshole piece of dog shit you really are.